Good morning, uh, Governor. Great to be with you. And of course, thank you for uh, the tremendous leadership that you have provided uh, to the people of the Empire State and in fact, the nation uh, in so many ways during this moment of trial and tribulation. Uh, and I just appreciate the fact that your leadership has been evidence-based, data-driven, compassionate, and comprehensive. And today's announcement is just another example of that. We know uh, that this is an extraordinary pandemic and it requires an extraordinary governmental response uh, at all levels of government. It's all hands on deck uh, at the city, the state, and the federal level. Uh, and the New York delegation is committed to continuing to work with you to make sure that we can drive the federal resources into New York State to match the level of infection, pain, suffering, and death uh, that we've all had to endure. Uh, it's an all of government moment and of course an all of America moment as you've encouraged all of us uh, to dig deeper here in New York and, and throughout. And in that spirit, we know that the houses of worship, the spiritual community has always been there to help the community get through a storm. Uh, these churches have been there through the crack cocaine epidemic to welcome people in uh, while others were rejecting them. Uh, our churches have been there, for instance, to address the high rates of gun violence in our community through gun buyback programs, taking thousands of guns off the streets in their congregation buildings. Uh, and we also know that these houses of worship, our churches, our spiritual leaders have been there to partner with the state and with law enforcement uh, organizations like the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office through Begin Again initiatives to address old warrants and summons and citations that can impact the ability of people from communities of color to be able to get all of the opportunities to benefit from our full economy. And so now at this moment, uh, thanks to their continued engagement and your leadership and willingness to partner, uh, we can address this COVID-19 pandemic with these houses of worship and religious leaders who have the credibility, the authenticity, and the capacity to reach those in the community who need to be tested. Uh, because at the end of the day, this is not over for any of us until it's over for all of us. And as you've indicated, we know that communities of color have been hit particularly hard. We are disproportionately overrepresented amongst our essential frontline workers live in dense environments and have historically been under resourced throughout the nation. Uh, and so this testing initiative uh, will be incredibly essential into ensuring that we can turn the corner in communities of color, such as those that I represent, as well as those represented, of course, by great members of the delegation like Nydia Velasquez, Yvette Clark, Greg Meeks, Adriano Espaillat, and so many others. Uh, so thank you, Governor, uh, for your partnership. I thank EBC and the other church coalitions for their initiative uh, and willingness to do what is necessary for us to confront this storm. The scripture says, uh, weeping may endure during the long night, but joy will come in the morning. And I'm thankful for your leadership, Governor Cuomo, thankful for the partnership with our houses of worship and we're all gonna be there with the community until it's morning time in the United States of America once again. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Congressman, so well said. Uh, some people say, well, churches are closed. No, churches are open. Churches never close. And they're, they're doing their work and they're performing their mission. And Congressman, big week for you. Uh, what you're doing in Washington is so important to all of us. Uh, this legislation uh, that may be passed by Washington, uh, getting this country the aid they need, getting this state the aid we need.